Now we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. They've got Finley. Marion is out there with Nowitzki. Then it's Nash, and it's Cameron in at the five, down low. Now Nash, following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Nowitzki with the screen on Armstrong. It's Nash with the drive. Moves back up. He lays it in. Steve, just the first good move in a game of chess between these two coaches. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll see which team dictates the style of play. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Releases. And Marion gets it to go. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Marion with the steal. And it's the Mavericks on the break. Novitski for three. And he's good on the three ball. Novitski. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Tipped away. And here are the Mavericks now. Pass to Finley. Back to Nash. Pass to Finley. Five on the clock. Now Nowitzki. And stolen by Jordan. It's three on three on the fast break. Over Finley. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Yeah, Jordan just glides up the court. It's kind of deceptive. Doesn't look like he's running as fast as he really is. Here's Nash. Passes it to Kim. Trying to get open is Nowitzki. And the Mavericks get another bucket right there. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And there's the pass to Pippen. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And again, Chicago turns it over on the sideline. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Dallas's head coach and I did get a chance to talk. The feeling is that the game has slowed down some for DeAndre Ayton, which means he's making quicker and better decisions. Coach said last year you could cross him up at times, and that helped contain his production. But this year's a different story. Ayton's taken those big strides mentally that all great players seem to do. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Now here's Pippen. Pass to Ayton. Lock at six to the wing right side. A three-pointer off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pippen with the steal. Pass to Jordan. Ayton sets the pick for Jordan. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there from Allen. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Over to the wing. Here's Finley. He's covered by Armstrong. Five to shoot. They get a hand on it. Pippen with the steal. To the paint. And eight. Throws it down. Impressive at using the pick and roll. He slips well to the basket after setting that screen. Nowitzki with the screen on Armstrong. Passes to Samuels. Now here's Nowitzki. Six to shoot. And he finishes nicer on the late. Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got five now. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Jordan, the pass to Aiton. From 12 feet out, the Mavericks pull it in. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. The pass to Samuels. Over in the corner, Allen. And here's Armstrong. 
No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Jordan. Down low. Here's Pippen. Takes it off the glass. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Pass to Finley. With the drive. Here's Nowitzki. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. He can't get that one. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Passes it to Finley. It's Allen with the drive. Offline with the baseline jump. Bulls trail by three. There's the pass to Armstrong. And here's Pippen, guarded by Porter. And Pippen gets it to go. Pippen's got his second bucket. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Here's Finley, guarded by Jordan, and stolen by Jordan. And here we go, the Bulls fast break over Allen. A nice shot by Jordan. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turn all the way up in this first half. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Give them a hand, fans. Your lovable dance team. Allen outside. Pass to Finley. Nowitzki a screen. Just find the shoot. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. Yeah, and Finley brings a lot of athleticism to that position. Can throw it down as well as stroke it from deep. This is his first chance at the line tonight. First one falls. And so he makes both from the line. Chicago trailing here. Jordan with it. Fires from deep. And that's collected by Nowitzki. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here is Samuels. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Finley. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Chris Boucher is checked in for Chicago. Luke Kennard comes in for Michael Jordan. Mr. Armstrong. Outside for Pippen. Cranes the three-pointer. Pippen's got seven points in the game. Pippen's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Passes it to Finley. There's the drive, and the layup's good off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by two. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick or the lay-in. Now the pass to Pippen. Finley with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Shots good by Samuels. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Pippen, the pass to Rodman. Back to Pippen. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. 
Here's Finley. Offline with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Pippen, a screen on Allen. Pass to Rodman. And here's Boucher. Here's Pippen. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. Oh, man, a hot start for him. He's hit five. His first set. All right. We'll keep coming out of the court. Come on. Get loud for your lovable. And Dallas going with a whole new group out there. Fans, that was your lovable's dance team. Come on. Make some noise. Shengun passes to Burks. Nash against Harper. To the middle. Here's Shengun. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Now, Kennard. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Nash against Harper. Six on the shot clock. Here's Kukoc, and no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Burks for three. That shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Two minutes. Outside Harper. Outside Kukoc. Marion with the steal. Pass to Nash. Here's Shengun. He's guarded by Harper. Shingun with the bucket. And the Mavericks lead by two. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Dallas. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. Ash can't get it to go. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Here's Kanon, and he gets the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Nash against Harper. Nash to Cameron. Back to Nash. Dallas moving it around. The pass to Burks. Just five on the clock. Over Kanon. Burks' shot is good. And while he's best driving to the rim, Burks' jump shot has to be honored. Kennard kicks to Harper. Burks against Kennard. From outside the arc, Sean Marion grabs the miss. Now, here's Burks. Here's Cameron. And he banks in the lane. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Mavericks lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the end. Fans, you're Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Dallas. We've got Nash. He's out there with Alec Burks. And it's Shangun in at the four slot. Chicago trailing here. Harper with the ball. Guarded now by Nash. Harper against Burks. Pass to Mikhailu. Back to Harper. Kukoc is screen on Burks. Here's Harper. And that one comes up a bit short. This and that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Inside. 
Here's Cameron. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Come on, get loud for your lovable. The Bulls making a switch here. Jordan's checked in here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Plumley with a screen on Nash. Driving in and stolen by Nash. The 19-foot shot, that one good for two. Burks. Now it's a six-point Dallas lead. That's where Burks has shown he can be efficient shooting the ball with the catch and release. Kukoc, a screen on Nash. Right side, Kukoc. And Plumley kicks to Jordan. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good work defensively by Marion. Burks in the corner. Nash outside from past the arc. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And the Ducks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Harper against Nash. He can't get it to go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Pass to Burks. A three ball. Dallas again missing. And here's Kennard. Harper with the ball. Outside Jordan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. With a little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And Dallas going with a whole new group out there. That one drops. He ties it up. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Passes it to Samuels. Nowitzki against Kukoc. Nowitzki's shot's good. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teams. Harper the pass to Kennard. Plumley sets the pick for Kennard. Porter with the steal. And the pass to Finley. Back to Porter. Pass to Samuels. Now Nowitzki. Good. Nice job down low. Nowitzki. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the race. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Ayton, he's checked in for Plumlee. Rodman comes in for Kukoc. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Luke Kennard. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Harper. Here's Hayton. And again, Chicago. No good. Mavericks leading by four. Feeds it to Nowitzki. It's stolen by Rodman. Pippen against Porter. And at seven foot one and 250 pounds, Aiden is a handful. Not easy trying to guard him goals. without foul. Deion for Chicago, Gray. they have gone two for two in the game at the Taking line. Two shots. Hmm. 
Shooting two. And the first one drops. And you see the raw talent Aiden has. An intimidating big man with a high ceiling and, and a desire to grow. Aiden hits from both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Pass to Nowitzki. Here is Samuels. Over Aiton. Samuels can't get it to go. And Jordan has it in the corner. It's good from long range. Jordan's got five points now in the quarter. And was it really a long distance shooter in college? Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. This is a defender. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Chicago leading. Outside Jordan. The pass to Pippen. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul called on the Dallas Mavericks. The Bulls have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Shooting two. First free throw is good. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. And both free throws, good for Pippen. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Here's DiVincenzo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Nowitzki. Oh, offensive interference. Goal pending call. The basket will count. Chicago leading by three. Outside Jordan. Into the lane. Dirk Nowitzki with the rebound. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound in this one. To end the run, shots good by Samuel. There's always been a level of savvy to Porter's game. Beautiful pass. Outside Pippen. Addition out to Ayton. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires for three. Mavericks with the rebound. Nowitzki's got his fifth rebound in this one. Back to Porter. Dallas moving it around. Here's Samuels. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist on the night. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Pass to Jordan. Over Porter. And again, no good by Chicago. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Pass to Nowitzki. Over Aiton. And the rejection by Aiton. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Armstrong passes to Jordan. Connects from three-point range. Jordan. Jordan's got 12 points in the game. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on the road. He's coming out of the court. Come on. Get loud for your lovable. A different look for Dallas. Sean Marion, he's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. Nash is subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. 
That'll be a five-second call. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Wednesday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And then on Friday, they'll head home and take on the Toronto Raptors. And for the matchup with the Rockets, on paper, you'd expect them to come away with the win, but this might be one of those trap games where they let it get away from them if they aren't focused. Armstrong against Nash. Nowitzki with the screen on Armstrong. Nash's shot is off. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Yeah, this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. They set the pick. Nash against Armstrong. Nash dishes to Nowitzki. Count it. And that's 11 points for Nowitzki. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Passes it to Jordan. Rodman with a screen on Mary. Here's Jordan. That's tipped. They retain possession. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Rodman's got the lead up to five now for Chicago. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. Finley can't get it to go. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's the pass to Pippen. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. Here's Finley. Bangs home the trifecta. Finley. Finley's got nine. Three. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Outside Pippen. To the left side lane. Armstrong. That ball. Nice speed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got his fourth assist in this one. Armstrong against Nash. Pass to Finley. Here's Nowitzki. Now the feed to Samuel. And out of bounds is Chicago Bears possession. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. Dallas making a switch here. Chicago leading by seven. Outside Pippen. Pass to Jordan. Armstrong with it. Eight and a screen on Nash. Here's Armstrong. Another one falls for Chicago. Coming off a scoreless first quarter. He's found a little rhythm here. Nash outside. Passes a camera. Another three for Dallas. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Aiton sets the pick for Jordan. Driving the lane. And you won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Nash against Armstrong. They set the pick. Nash the pass to Shingu. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. That's his first and personal Nash foul. is an incredible passer. Seems like he has eyes the in the back of his head sometimes. The for one. one of the best. The Mavericks shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Bulls leading by five. Armstrong with it. Guarded now by Nash. And it's Aiton missing. Now the Mavericks with it. To the inside. Cameron the pass to Shengu. Armstrong against Nash. 
shot clock at six. Over Armstrong. No good there off the double clutch. And some good action through the first two quarters.